I feel a bit uh, screwed there, but what you gonna do? We're here to learn, and often in these games you learn through mistakes. Yeah, I know, race for Africa soon. I hope war doesn't have a negative impact on that. If you side with a winner, you'll win prestige, though. Is that so? You know, the Russian Empire and Austria, that's a difficult one to peg. Great Power 5 versus Great Power 4. The Ottoman Empire are really on the decline. That sucks to be them. Oh, Russia's got France backing them up. Why am I not getting pop-ups and who's backing these? Surely I should get message settings for crisis. When someone accepts joining our side in a crisis, I definitely want that uh, to pop up. When someone joins the side of a crisis, it should be popping up. I don't know. I don't think the UK would not back the Russian Empire here. I'm going to back the uh, the Russian Empire. When in doubt, back the Rush. Oh, but that might make the UK go against us. Because the UK doesn't like us tampering around here. I'm sure we'll be okay. Nothing like a good old crisis to get uh, get the ball rolling here. Alright, Colombia. We're a little lacking in influence here. Hopefully not too much, though. Yeah, we're still going to beat everyone to it. Acquire East Macedonia. Greece demands this from the Ottoman Empire. Okay. Okay, soon time to rush for Africa. Bang. Time to blast ourselves into machine guns, because for some reason, machine guns are great for uh, getting ourselves into Africa. Wait, why do I know that? It just feels like something I know, but I've got no reason to believe that. I think machine guns help with something, but I don't know. Yeah, I get that Nix, but I don't really want to. Yeah, chat's told me this a lot of times, but what... Okay, let's say you're a brand new Vicky 2 player and you've gotten to this point. What would make you think machine guns are good for um, the race in Africa? something, surely. Check your invention list. Colonial negotiation. Invention list. Here you are. Ah, yes. Have machine guns. Nothing says negotiation like machine guns. Okay, I guess I need to boost up that life rating, and that's going to need colonial negotiation. <sighs> I still don't have the naval range to get here, though, which is mad. Oh, wait, no, I do. I have, uh, or do I? I don't know. Naval range, 112 out of 250 needed. So, I can, oh, well, another way to look at it is the... Uh, wait, there's a civilization level? Great power, civilized, secondary. Fascinating. Uncivilized. Well, where's primitive? Oh, Hawaii is part of the USA now. Okay. Colonial map mode is what I'm looking for, indeed. There you are. So 
So can I reach that or not? Yes, yes I can. Why is reading this field backwards? It feels like I have 112 out of the 250 needed, but that's not true. It's 112 away, and I can reach up to 250. God, that feels backwards. I wonder if EU4 does it that way as well. I honestly can't remember. There's a lot I can't remember. Still, good to know. The way the tooltip is written is kind of stupid, says Excavite. You have ranged 250. Province is 112 away. There you go. I can't be the only one thinking that the volume of music has been way too high today. I'm going to bring that down a bit. No one's mentioned it, but I'm the one that really listens to these and sometimes thinks the balance is way off. Where are you going to colonize first? I don't know. I think Botha. It's loud at the moment. Yeah, nobody's been saying anything, but I'm going to bring that down a bit. The songs can change quite a bit. Uh, yeah, because that'll get me into Timbo. Hmm. Oh god, the region colors are all the same. But if I grab Guinea, that'll probably cut these guys off a bit. And it'll get me the lovely population around here. The coast of Nigeria has amazing RGOs. Really? Well, there's a lot of coffee, but I already sell a lot of coffee. Tropical wood, and you guessed it, I already sell a lot of tropical wood. The tropical wood becomes rubber later. Now well, that is good. Oh, this is even better. There's tons of population down here. Well, I think I've decided where I'm going to go. Hundreds of thou- there was coal there? Oh ho 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 well. Yeah, think I'll be taking this then, thank you. Great, but I can't get there yet. I need my machine guns, or rather my colonial mission. Reconsider the colonization once the race starts, because Britain will get their filthy, coal-stained fingers in every pile. I don't doubt it, but we'll see, won't we? How about that uh, crisis? UK is still on the fence, and we're running out of time. All pops lose militancy, but, but I need to pass my reforms. White peace. Mmm, is that good for me? I mean, I, I backed something there. I'm sure I backed something there. It didn't drag me into war, which is good. Not great, not terrible. This isn't uh, Persona 5 here next, and you know it. Alright, give me my machine guns, although we're so uh, horrifically bad at reading. I won't be surprised if somebody beats us to it. Of course we support our boys. Argentina and a lot. Yeah, okay. Come back to the fold, Argentina. I'll make you fight and die for me. They're so big and they have so little to show for it. Oh, Christ, I almost forgot this. You are getting into my sphere here. There we go. And now that we have Colombia, we can surely do the decision for the canal. Surely do the decision for the canal. The canal. Machine guns, nitroglycerin, and iron steamers. And I'll get 10 prestige. Forgive me for not being excited about that. But, seems easily enough to do. Apparently I can work against malaria already. Cool. Japan is a great power, Jake. What? They must have, um, they must have westernized. But our great power rank is almost better than Prussia's. We're on our way to number six, baby. We just need Prussia to fall down in the world a bit more. I should also consider uh, influencing people some more. I bet I could wrangle Venezuela away from Britain. Is that truce over yet? It'll be over in 71. I should remember that. I would also quite like to work on the Netherlands. Maybe I'll try the Netherlands first. It'll be slow going, but... Mm, the cordial with the USA and neutral... Oh, cordial with France as well. But I'll try and get uh, try and get the Netherlands. 
It's just 10 prestige for Panama. In vanilla, it's awful. Oh, so the mods are... Uh, not even pay to win. Just subscribe to win. Is the prestige from Panama an HPM thing? So it seems... Mm-hmm. Rock me... Well, no, get me that prestige. The higher up we climb, the better we look in the eyes of the world. Yeah, Japan... <coughs> we started, what, 7% literacy? Japan's 40 must make them so much better at researching. Oh, those, those railroads are starting to be done. Expect the explosion of money. I know I am. Love this population growth. Breed for me. Oh, we're out of bureaucrats to encourage around here, because we're at 100%. Let's remove that focus and remove this focus. Still unsure where to really put these guys, though. And what could I really be doing with them that would be useful? Ah, I did take over some more places with more people. Quite a few more people, in fact. It would be nice if those few extra people became glorious um, soldiers for me. I'm already encouraging these friends to be soldiers. I can't... Okay, there's population. That was managing to evade me miraculously. Now, soldiers that I don't currently have active, they still count towards my military rating, right? I'm going to go with a yes on that one to myself. There we go. Fight and die for me. I don't think they do, says El Coro. Let's just imagine that they do, because I would like that. Paraguay, insignificant nation, but they can fight and die for me too. Many people can fight and die for me. What a wonderful world. <laughs> they do not. Well, just imagine that they do, okay? I don't want to mobilize my army to... Hang on, if I did mobilize my army, I bet it would bring up my military power something fierce. I don't know if we'll be fighting here or there. Well, we have a map mode for this, don't we? Recruitment map mode? Recruitment map mode. Now oh, we can recruit more down here as well, which is quite lovely. Quite a few more, even. I don't know what kind of army I have here right now. Let me think. Three artillery. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six of you. Six main guys. Alright, so for one, I want a couple bits of artillery. I don't know if there's any difference between South Andean and uh, Aymara artillery. Let's get ourselves another bit of oh, Brazilian artillery. I want those Hussars. Where are my Hussars? There we go, get ourselves another Hussar. Hmm, hmm. Hoi hoi inbound. <laughs> One can only hope. Just regular infantry, why not? Numbers are probably what matter. Infantry, infantry, artillery, artillery. Infantry, artillery. Infantry, artillery. And let's soak it up with another engineer, and another hussar, and another bit of infantry, artillery. This might get expensive, but I just want to puff my chest out a bit and raise up my great power ranking. Infantry, artillery. That'll do, we'll spare some. Using non-accepted cultures as infantry slash cannon fodder is pretty nice. Give the support brigades to your BRs. Well, too late. Got so many people here want to die. Why are they so 
downtrodden and miserable over here. I just don't get it. Oof, goodbye money. I assume it's I'm importing what I need for my armies. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Is this a Dominion's 5 battle here? Oh well, they're getting to work. I should get those RGOs out with all these railroads being constructed. They're miserable because they work for Brazilian overlords. Hey, come now. This is a different Brazil to the one you know. Yeah, the music's way too quiet now, isn't it? Let's bring you back up, because I think this is Songs of the Civil War from uh, Vicky 2. 309. Oh, Prussia's bumped themselves up a bit. They're pretty powerful in industry. Yeah, this one has 36% literacy. <laughs> yeah, Bavaria decided to come crawling back and show Japan what they're all about. Brazil is very slowly working on the Netherlands, but slower is better than not at all. Hey, working for me is good. You know you'll survive that way. Alright, minimum life rating is up. Colonial negotiations. Whatever happens, they have got the Maxim gun and they have got... They have not. Okay, sure. Machine guns allowed armies to devastate forces using mass charge tactics, an ability that was especially useful when it came to defeating uncivilized nations who objected to being colonized. Lovely, which means I can now go and take over, well, probably whatever I want. Where did I want to start with? I wish I could tell these regions apart better. This is all of Benin, this is all Lagos. No, this is all Yoruba estates. This is Benin. I already have a chunk of Benin. So the question is, where do I want to get in on first? Population? No, I want that coal, that's for sure. Surely I want the biggest state, right? Oh, this is all the uh, Niger Delta. It looks like a different state, but I guess it's coloured in because I can see uh, these provinces. Alright, well, I'll take this whole damn one. Why not? Just clicky-click. I can get behind that. Can I clicky-click here as well? Wait, what? I can... I figured it would be like a one-at-a-time thing, but no. I can clicky-click the way, way to the bank. So the investment's the colonial power, I guess. Ah, interesting. Well, I want that. I'd quite like Benin as well, because it's got good population, but perhaps I want to take over something else too. I want to rush in the coastline, and then I can actually work on this, because no one's going to outcompete me here. Nobody can probably outcompete me here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe they have a way to, though, but it's beyond me. I like this state. Oh man, this region's got people. It's got crappy RGOs, though. Not that many people. You can see your colonial points under your GP. Yeah, I see that, I see that. You'll watch months pass and be anxious. Me? Anxious? I guess it could happen. Take over Dahomey and Togo. Or indeed I could work on the inland part here. Jeng's there's a lot of people around here. Really hard to know what the what the good stuff is here. Let's think coal for a second. Any more coal? No, I already came and grabbed the coal. And there's no metals here at all, is there? Why is Africa so devoid of metals, or... Has there since been metals found? 
go for as many as you can, Jake. The Euros are on their way. Uh, that they are. Okay, now I really wish I had a whole lot more colonial power points. Is that what you wanted me to uh, to say and feel? Because I'm saying and feeling it now. Just take it all over. Take it all, man. There we go. Our Brazilian home. Oh, I need to work on some more, uh, some more tech. People are saying inorganic chemistry is really good, so I'll give it a go. There's plenty, Jake. It wasn't really exploited in the time frame of the game. Uh, I see. Or rather, I see now. Hey, the army is popping out. Let's try and get that higher great power rank. No, Algeria. Doesn't work that way. So when can I get these things? If nobody competes in a year, right, so we'll wait and see if anybody competes and then take over what we can. But I can't see what they're doing at all right now. Not sure if I still want my armies down here. They're not doing a lot. I don't need to worry about wars here. And they don't seem all that militant around here. Maybe I should protect my capital. Last time bad things happened in the capital. I'm never going to sink the Royal Navy, that seems daft. Why are the AIs not colonizing? Or do I just not see it? Maybe I need to look at some kind of colonial map mode. I don't get it. They probably don't have machine guns, really? Wow, I got that much of a leap start on them with my 37% literacy? Impressive. Okay, there was something about maybe upgrading my um, my navy things. What are they under again? Colonial? Probably not. Naval? Probably. Let's get those naval bases expanded for more points. And Vasca money. Okay, maybe that's vasca a bit too much of my money. I like to actually make some money, you know? Maybe I should change out my leadership. Um, we were able to build that factory I want, and I want to expand it a bit to get more people employed here. But otherwise, I don't see a crying need for more factorying, so let's switch out our politics for good old, oh, I don't know, liberals? But we have other liberals and conservatives. Jeez, I, I don't even know. Surely liberals want more reforms, right? And you, there you go. Who cares? Get something done. I tell you what they do want me to do. They want me to tariff harder, because I want that money. You new libs are very liberal. Okay. Hmm, I like making that money. For the love of God, Jake, not the laissez-faire liberals. The other ones are okay. Which ones are the laissez-faire liberals? Oh, these guys are laissez-faire. Industry is free from government interference. Okay. The Vicky 2 politics. Multiple parties, same ideology. is really wacky. The vote gets split between them, so they'll never win. Just like real life. How cute. Getting notified about all these railroads being done. Great. Watching my economy boom as well it should. Infamy going down. And... Ah, Netherlands. Let us increase opinion. Cordial. Oh, it's going to be pretty cool having the Netherlands sphered. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the bottom. Let's see. Surely they can field... Oh, yeah, they can field a pretty good army. 30 brigades. What can I field? 35 brigades. Suck it, Netherlands. Get in my sphere. So. January, February, March, April. May, June, July. Okay. Damn, I got a lot of armies popping up here. Maybe I should get them together in some way, shape, or form. 
Whew, what's the support limit in Rio de Janeiro? Maybe good enough. So I'm sure we'll soon find out. Just get over there. I don't want to have my army all over the place. It seems like a pain. Rebels risen up in Argentina. Nothing new. Okay. The more I chew on this game... Oh boy, right, look who's at it. The United Kingdom and Scandinavia. Right, UK, don't you dare get in the way of my beautiful colonies. Yeah, Scandinavia is. How dare they. How dare they. I mean, that's the one that I cared the least about, but... Yeah, Scandinavia. They're doing pretty good. Secondary power, number 10. How dare a secondary power be allowed to colonize, though? Now, we don't know for sure it's the Swedes. Oh, I didn't work on Benin at all, because I didn't seem worth it for two provinces. Okay. Nothing in our colonies needs attention, but maybe it will. Oh, Cobia. Cobia, Cobia. I know where Cobia is. Someone knows where Cobia is. Brazilians, assist. I mean, I could find it, but that feels like cheating. Wherever Cobia is, it's become our core. I don't recall unjustly wrestling anything away that would need a core. Okay, I'm lost there. Where is Kabia? We will cheat. It was here? Oh, cores are done province by province, not state by state. That not what I expected, but maybe I should have, because previously I started out with cores on just uh, provinces and not states. Still, what a bummer. I wanted more than that. Scandinavia, you stay away from my lands here. At the turn of the month, I should be able to grab all that I want here. Hey, there we go. So, uh, create protectorates. Yeah, you want it, you'd have to go to war over it now. Get away from me. Feels good, uh, but they eat up some of my colonial power, don't they? Yeah, there's maintenance. Now... Click to convert to upgrade this colony. You need 20 power points for you to do this. Why would you want a colony instead of a protectorate? Maybe you want to take everything first and then upgrade them. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Wait until you take everything you want. Well, they're going to fight over these, and hopefully they do fight for a long time, and that's going to give me a good opportunity to take everything else. Wait, did I miss? Oh yeah, I missed this. Well, they can't get to this, right? So, why don't I leave the pockets inside my country and just scour out in such a way that they can't get to other provinces? That sounds like a great idea. I still kind of want these two for the border gore to not be there, but the power play is probably to seek out other things like this. Anyway, what's going on here? Let's just outprice them. There's no way they're going to do us in in Togo. We've just invested. The next investment can be done in a few months' time. Okay, sure. Right, I want this. And no one can get to it. I want the pops, basically. Oh, and I would like to get uh, Mali. Mali in general. Snake our way to victory. Maybe it would be good to uh, keep them off of this. But it's probably better, it's probably wiser for me to cut them off along here. Man, I can feel the rush of doing this now.
Ooh, hey, look at this. This would cut them off proper. And would be slightly less border gory. Hmm. Get behind that. Can I take this? It's just across a little uh, lake. No, no, it's not going to accept that. I forget, we'll colonize parts of Congo, go to the Congo later. Who needs a Congo? Not this guy. Wouldn't mind taking all this. This is a large region, the outer Hassa land. Let's do it. Jake, it is 1871. Venezuela's troops has ended. Begin influencing now. But I'm busy working on the Netherlands. Wait, what? No. Why am I doing Colombia? Get out of here. What a waste of points that's been. Decrease the opinion of another great power here. You, the USA is too friendly with them. I wonder if the USA hates me for that. Eh, maybe, but I can increase their relations. Keep it Gucci with the USA. Try and keep it Gucci with the UK while we're at it as well. A lot of clicking in this game. Jake, it doesn't waste points, but it's already maxed. Okay, but maxing it out wasted points getting there. Okay, well, would you look at that? Brazil's doing not too shabby here. The Brazilian race. So, if you're playing as a nation that's really crappy, like, say, Liberia, this must be gutting. Everyone else gets to eat things up, and you have no chance of uh, getting there before them. Other GPs really want Colombia, because they want to build that canal. They really want... Why? It, it's not very good. People told me it's great. I looked at it. It's 10 prestige. Humiliate Bavaria. Now, oh, come on. We can all be friends. Oh, boy. Look who's great power six. I think you'll find it's Brazil. And this, this is the EU3 experience right here. Oh, I love it. Oh, when can I take this over? How do I create a protectorate? on something that is contested. Well, the AI just can't handle with the banking points for machine guns, can they? To think if we had decent literacy rates, we would have uh, absolutely curb stomped them at it. Oh, we've got all the clergymen down here that we could need, so let's remove the focus. Let's find the next most populous area that we've taken over here by checking population, uh, highly, highly populated places here, like the Niger Delta. Niger? Niger? There's one other way of doing that, but that's a little too power gamery for me to say on stream. Soldiers, soldiers, soldiers. Well, Nigeria is no longer quite so nice for soldiery when we have the Yoruba states. Brazilian Benin just doesn't seem right, does it? Not at all. If the place is not contested, you can create a protectorate right away. If it is contested, it's a race to get to see who gets to stage three. Really? But what if we both get to stage three? It's not, Jake. Don't listen. What? <laughs> oh, jinx. Okay, uh, Netherlands. Hmm? Oh, it doesn't show. You click this to go here, but it doesn't show Netherlands. Still, Netherlands. Increase that opinion. They're now friendly. Let's try and get them uh, completely sphered. You need to be three steps ahead. That seems hefty. And I don't have the spare points to invest into Togo. Maybe uh, Scandinavia will give it up. Does the AI ever just give up on their colonization attempts? More railroads. Many more railroads, please. Lovely. God, we're making actual money. I can't believe it. How did it come to this? So many people. Oh, do we get a newspaper about our race here? 
Where is that Brazil is beating everyone in the race here? It is the peace for our time, great powers announced, emerging from the summit negotiations. The English man. I like the idea that machine parts are going down though, it's good for us. It's a new liberal party right there, the rise of Bavaria. Following Japan's persisting decline, Bavaria assumes higher uh, standing among the nations of the world by ascending to the position of one of the great powers expanding global esteem. Proving that nature doesn't tolerate a vacuum. Metric nonsense. British statesman, the imperial system is the way of the future. The French metric nonsense is bound to never catch on. Hold on, I didn't notice that before, but it says... One of these... There we go, Gazette Brasiliense. Sorry, the only Brazilian I know is now Serinda. Thank you, Orlov. The great people of Brazil would like lower taxes. Too bad. This is what you voted for. Well, not even voted. This is what you forced to be in charge. Okay. Things look fairly steady for us. It's a lot of attrition on your armies, it is. Ah, jeez. They don't look so good. I thought they'd be fine here. It turns out they're not. There you go, just split up between these two. You'll probably be fine. Did one side get both of the engineers? Yeah, they did. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, jeez, right. Sort. I need to readjust these two. One gets two hazards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over you go. Six and one, two, three, four, five, six. Much, much better. Except one has considerably more than the other. Jengs and I thought uh, CK2's way of balancing out your units is rough. It is. <laughs> it remains to be. This doesn't change how rough that is. But it's all relative. Splitting an army in CK3 is just... Hey, we've got nitroglycerin. That brings us closer to the Panama Canal. I wonder what else we needed to do that. I also need... That's the wrong one. Machine tools and iron steamers. Uh, we're away from that. Machine tools. You'd think that's an industry thing. Maybe it's one of these kinds of things. Mm, no idea. And probably not that important because we're not playing those busted mods. Which make it so easy to win. Sure wish I had more colonial power. What the heck? Oh, of course, the British. The British uh, thundered the way up here because this was uncontested. Uh, maybe if I had more points, I could have contested the British to slow them down here whilst I take over the inside. Ah, oh, that would have been an idea. But I didn't do it. You just hovered over machine tools in the next uh, industry research tool for. Okay. Well, as long as we know. Wasn't uncontested, Jake. The Swedes just gave up. Well, they, they stuck to their guns on my one. Bloody Swedes. Alright, Netherlands. Get into my sphere. Okay, now... Is that really going to help me much? I'm not sure. Results inconclusive. But it's pretty banging to have Brazilian sphere of influence inside the uh, inside Europe. Amazing. All right, Venezuela, you're going down next. We have no prio on anyone. Venezuela's getting it all. I'm gonna kick out uh, 
kick out British influence in South America. Anyone get to the Congo? There's something here. Scandinavian North Angola. North Angola is a state? That's got to be the most pathetic state there is. This must all be nice uh, for nice borders, but still, it's kind of the hoi four problem of uh, what is even a state. Because <sighs> they have to have a uh, mammal, for example. Oh well, it's their problem. USA is making vile accusations once again. It's not one province that's just disconnected from the rest, I think. Oh really? Well, where's the rest of it? Please, where is the rest of North Angola? Oh, this is or this is North Angola. I see, I see. Yeah, I get it now. I get it. They couldn't take the rest of it because it was already under Portuguese rule. Mm-hmm. Okay, the French are in the scramble as well. That's good if it slows down the British. Yeah, sure, Venezuela. Let's be friends. Hey, I've got three, uh... Oh, I jumped to three, probably because I, um... I held it long enough? Maybe. Anyway, welcome to Brazil Town. It's the least desirable part of the neighborhood. By a long way. Well, bigger is better. Maybe we should take over this as well. Nobody lives here, but just think of the map size of Brazil. And map size is pretty good. Don't go into the Sahara, take Timbuks too. Uh, I'm getting conflicting stuff here. It's hot garbage, but still. Yeah, who would possibly want the Sahara? But just think of the size of the name. Now we should try to be sensible for Brazil here. I can have this. Nobody can contest me on this. In fact, if I went over here, I'd cut a, I'd cut all of this off. I doubt the Ottoman Empire is getting in on this. Wait, no, they already had that. So I can have all of this for myself. Hmm. Okay, this is a place to explore font size without getting cut off. But it does mean that I should take this. That'll cut. That'll completely cut this off. Oh, 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 I'm getting. I'm salivating now. No man should have this much power. It means I'd have to give up on something. I could give up on this because these two losers are fighting over it already. And that frees up a lot of colonial power for me to take over this. Hmm. You know, I bet this is so cool to do in multiplayer. Well, there is there is this area here, isn't there? Lake Victoria has uh, population, and I like population. And this is fairly uncontested. I mean, Scandinavia are doing their thing, but you know what I think about Scandinavians. If I took the Congo Orientale, then I could go for uh, the Victorias. It's old Paradox multiplayer. Nothing cool about it. Oh, come on. Don't, uh, don't remind me. Grim existence, right? Okay. That's kind of cool. I should just accept that I withdraw out of this one so I can save my points. Where do I spend them then? I mean, I'm already working on that. No, I'm not working on this, and I probably should. Unless I really want the Sahara. Think of the font size. If I get, uh, if they compete with me, I'm just gonna pull out of that one like a, uh, well, let's not go there. Let's keep it PG-13. There's no hurry for me to work on this because no one else can get to it. I highly doubt Egypt is joining the space race here partially westernized nation. No diamonds in Congo, just future rubber. Future rubber. Scandinavians exploiting as they do. 
This is good. France, keep uh, keep the UK in the back burner. British Africa is going to have nothing on Brazilian Africa. Oh, we can create colonies, but I don't want to do that yet, do I? Probably not. Okay, we're going to have to call it here because it's already way later than it should be and I have a weekly one-shot to do tomorrow, which I'm totally going to sleep in for at this rate. Still, things are really heating up for Brazil. I thought things were getting a bit shaky here, but financially we got out of a dark place. We left our um, factories to kind of fend for themselves and just look at that sphere of influence. Pretty beautiful. South America belongs to Brazil. Africa belongs to Brazil. Jake, I'm glad you're keeping the channel featuring things like feeding your own people to your own people or ruthlessly colonizing PG-13. That is PG-13. PG-13 is the kind of stuff that you can explain to your children who are 13 or younger. And if you can't explain the ruthless exploitation of your fellow man, then you're not cut out to be a guardian. Anyway, that's getting a little too heavy-handed. Uh, we will continue this on next week. Tomorrow it's the weekly one-shot, and Baron Von Own is going to try once again for a mod game. I hope they pass for their benefit. So until then, it's a cheers from me, and from all of Brazil, a cheerio.